Our first vintage was 1994, and that was the result of some grapevines, some Riesling and Chardonnay that we planted in 1991. We originally started out assuming we were going to grow grapes for the local wineries, and then uh, put pencil to paper and figured out pretty quickly that there's more money to be made if you can add value to the product, to the commodity, and take it that final step and uh, produce a finished, finished product. And we, we got together with some like-minded people, and that's pretty much how Peninsula, got, Peninsula Cellars got started. From a family standpoint, the family business is in agriculture. I'm the sixth generation on old mission working in agriculture. Uh, cherries and apples is what we've been doing for the last 60 years plus. My father and grandfather transitioned from the field crops and the, and the livestock into the fruit crops. And then my dad and I sort of transitioned from cherries and apples into grape vines. And, uh, the old schoolhouse is uh, the last of the one room schoolhouses on Old Mission that had opened to the public. There was six originally, I think. Someone will probably correct me on that. The rest have either burnt down or been turned into private, private houses. We were able to buy this back in 1999, and uh, we moved our tasting room location here from the Old Mission General Store, out in Old Mission, which is where we were from 94 until 99. But it was just so hard to find, and such a, I mean, it's a beautiful, quaint little spot, but if nobody can find you, hard to make a living. So when this became available, we purchased the, the schoolhouse, renovated the inside, maintained all the original floors, chalkboards, lighting, everything we could, and uh, turned it into our tasting room. Our tasting room is disconnected from our cellar operation. The actual winemaking is in a, in a building on the, the major property that Peninsula Cellars owns, about seven miles further north. So the wine tasting room is just that, it's just a tasting room, we don't produce the wine. We've been able to sort of spawn a, a wine, or a line of wines, based around the schoolhouse. We have our old school red, our old school white, detention, homework, things like this, kind of fun wines for everybody to, you know, the teachers love it. Whole range of, of flavors and styles, trying to suit most tastes. Dry whites, I'm probably the most proud of our Pinot Blanc, it's my favorite wine personally. We don't make a lot of it, 250 cases usually a year is a, is a reasonable number. But it's just a little bit more delicate wine and a little more, there's a little more personality to it than Pinot Grigio, which is get, it gets all the popular acclaim for the white wines and restaurants love it and all that kind of stuff. Pinot Blanc's just, my personal favorite, so I'm most proud of that wine. Um, we also make, you know, sweet wines. Our sweeter Rieslings do wonderful. We have a sweet red wine that's a blended red that we call Detention. That one's probably the most popular wine um, that we make as far as the reds go. People love their, their sweet reds, whether they like to admit it or not. It's just a, a really fun fruity, easy to drink, great with a hamburger, we have a bottle off the counter, and there you go. We have some Merlot and Cabernet Franc vineyards that um, we maintain that produce exceptional fruit every year, so we do a few varietal bottlings of those, and vineyard specific bottlings, and really, you know, take our time, put them in oak barrels for, you know, a year, year and a half, really work our magic yeah. Mother Nature provides us the, the raw materials. We've made some really nice red wines there. I'm very proud of our vineyard relationships that we've uh, we've grown with over the years. We have them mapped out on the, on the chalkboard in the tasting room. They're all on Old Mission except for one. There's one gentleman to the to the south of Benzie County that grows a little patch of Pinot Noir for us. So winemakers at Peninsula Cellars, myself, Matt Frollo. Uh, we're both MSU grads. Uh, Matt came to work for us in 2006, and I've been at Peninsula Cellars since 94 when we started. 
picking up this, that, and the other thing. Uh, actually getting heavily involved in the winemaking in 2005, 2006. Um, he and I have been doing it sort of as the lead winemakers since 07. Um, like-minded philosophy of, of the wine being grown in the vineyard rather than made in the cellar. We're very committed to the vineyard. We're out in the vineyard hands-on, personally doing a lot of the work. Um, there's not a lot of mechanical inputs to that regard. You know, everything's hand harvested. We're still at a scale where we're, you know, we're not massive in, in size where we're, we're doing a lot of the highly automated things. You know, it's a great, a great location. It's beautiful. You know, we don't have uh, the palatial estate overlooking the water, but we've got a charming little building, and there's a palatial estate just down the road. So there's a lot of diversity. Uh, it's it's pretty close. You know, jump in your car, make a weekend of it, come visit us. I think you'll be surprised with the quality of the wines if you haven't kept up on uh, the evolution of Northern Michigan wine.